Today, guys, I'm going to be showing you how to create something like this. These tacos mixed with quarry tiles, I think, really set this little cloakroom off. And when mixed with modern finishes, will look epic. It's a lot easier to lay than it looks. And with these steps, I'm going to show you, you can easily create something like this for yourself. In this video, I'm going to show you the whole process from setting out to fixing to sealing and to finish with grouting. So stick around for tips and tricks and to see the whole process unfold. Let's go. For the floor surface, I screwed 6mm backerboard onto the chipboard that was there originally. This will give me a good substrate to work off of. Backerboard is great as it's water resistant, it's high strength and an insulator, so it really is ideal for floors. So first things first, it's a setting out. Now this room isn't very square, it's an old building, so the walls go in different directions directions as expected sometimes so my first thought is what's going to look visibly best for me when you walk into a room having a square line running down it is visually important so for this one i decided to start my tiles square off of the back wall it's only about five millimeters out of square with the door so this is good enough then the other walls will be what they will be the most important thing to me is seeing that square line as you walk into the room. So now I know what I'm coming square off of, it's time to set the tiles out. I'd like to take a full tile off something to keep as much of the pattern as possible. Here you can see I've just laid some tiles out with some spaces, taking some measurements and seeing what works out best. Coming off of the radiator wall won't work as it's out of square and gives me a nasty cut around the radiator pipe, so that's no good. The corner works out pretty well with the pattern and bar one side it gives me half decent cuts all around so i'm going to pick this as my starting point for this one as i'm bringing a full tile off of the wall i'll lay a few tiles out and draw a line down the room this is my square line i must stick to then i can draw a line the other way that i'll also follow so now i have my starting point and my line is down i'm ready to knock up some adhesive and i'm good to go as these are quarry tiles they will need sealing so I'll be using a rapid set flexible adhesive. This is so I can get the spaces out and get some sealer on after a few hours. This way I can grout the floor up the same day. I'd recommend using a normal set adhesive if this is your first tiling attempt. Something with a 4-5 to five hour set time or 24 hours is fine. It will just give you a bit more time to work with and correct any errors but hopefully after this you won't have any. So once you've got your adhesive knocked up to the requirements on the bag, chuck a couple of piles down and start spreading. For these tiles, I'm going to use an 8mm trowel because they're not very thick. It should be perfect to make sure the tile gets enough bite and coverage. Just try and make sure you use the notches of the trowel. You can hear it with the noise it's scraping when you're using the full notch. And try and keep your lines as straight as possible. This helps the adhesive collapse once the tile's pushed onto it. If I was using a bigger tile here or a porcelain tile, I would back edge the tile. But there's not really too much need for quarry tiles. They're very porous as well. You can always lift one up and just see how much adhesive is connecting to the back just to give you peace of mind, but you should be fine. So my plan here will be to put a few tiles down, get them square, and then add the tacos afterwards. They should fit perfectly in the middle if all things are good. So let's go for that. And you can see, like we said in the setting out, my full tile will be coming off of that wall. That is my square line for the room. So I'll be following that line the whole way down the room. So this is the other square line I'll be following. So I just put my level across there, make sure all the tiles are butted against it. Then I can start putting my spaces in, making sure everything's nice and neat. Then it'd be time for the tacos. And I'm using a two millimeter space here. That's always my preferred choice just to keep the joint as small as possible. So there's just two colours here in an alternate pattern. So I'll just be placing them in, making sure they sit nicely in between the tiles. Anywhere where I need extra adhesive, I'll just put it on the back and then place it in and give them a wiggle. So for the halves, I'll be using my trusty Sigma cutter. It makes easy work of them. And then I can go around just filling all them in. There we go. It's looking good already. Let's crack on to the next bit. Here I'm just marking the rear cuts and the side cuts. Like I said before, it's it's out of square this wall, so unfortunately I can't use the same marks. I need to mark them all individually. That's fine. I'll just mark them up and then get them cut on the Sigma cutter. And you can use a tape measure or just mark the tile for marking them.
For the radiator pipe here, I just need to give it a little mark and then take a nibble out of the corner and that should fit in nicely. Well, sometimes I surprise myself. I got that radiator cut off in one, surprisingly. Right, spaces are out and then I clean the floor. Now onto the ceiling. There's many different types of sealer. This one is an impregnating sealer with a color intensifier, which I think is great because it really brings the colors out in the quarry tiles. So I just put it on a sponge and then rub it in, leave it to dry a bit and then just buff it off. And then that's good. As usual, just check the instructions of the sealer you use. This one you can buff after 15 minutes and grow after two hours. Right now that seal is on the first half of the floor, I just carried on a bit here down the line and I'm just going to continue on and fill this lot in. This is a nice bit for me here is this is my square wall so all the cuts are the same marks, I can just cut them off and chuck them down so it's a lot quicker. For this cut I just roughly marked it to the architrave and then took that off and then now I can get it a bit neater and I'll just dry lay it down then I can mark the other cut next to it a bit easier. Cool, that's all the tiling done. I hope you've liked it so far. It's all sealed up so let's move on to the grouting. This one is going to be a Caracol number no. 7 grout. It's like a mid grey, so it should complement the quarry tiles nicely. I do have a video tutorial on grouting, so check that out if you're stuck. But in short, just knock the grout up to the instructions on the bag. Then when you put it on the floor, hold the float at an angle and then go across the tiles with it. You'll know you've got it at the right angle because you'll manage to scrape the grout off the tiles as you go. Then go around and check it with your finger. Just see if it's started to dry a bit. Once you feel it's starting to go hard, you can give it a dirty wash. So wring your sponge out, keep it as dry as possible. Then just start getting the residue off. This is like your first wash. Then once you've allowed it to dry a bit, you can go back with a clean wash. You just got to make sure you don't get too much water in the grout so just make sure it's got about 15 minutes to dry first and then you can go with a clean wash which will really clean them up nicely and that's it guys that's what it came up like i really enjoyed doing this one i haven't done quarry tiles for a long time the tacos added a really nice effect i hope this helps with your next project and you got some good ideas from it take care guys and i'll see you in the next one